My name is Scott Wilkins, and I'm the founder and co-owner of My Chow on Prospect and Three Tigers Brewing Company. Uh, my name is Patrick Gangler. I'm the head brewer at Three Tigers. Uh, my name is Eddie Miller. I'm the bar manager at Three Tigers Brewing. Freshness. We're fresh food. We're fresh beer. We're craft cocktails. We're we're uh, we're just a good place to come and relax. Being a part of the My Chow team, like and Three Tigers team, we have a great staff, great people, hard workers, and it's, that's that's probably one of my, my favorite things about it, is just the people that we, that I work with every day. Well, that's easy, uh, worldly inspired, locally focused. Yeah. Good beer, good people. <laughs> I guess the story of My Chow and Three Tigers started several years ago. I just, on a whim, I moved to a little town called Grain Chill in Jamaica, and I taught primary school there and just, Fell in love with just the exploration of different cultures, food culture, m music culture, just the way the way different people live. So, and I moved back um, and met the girl that I uh, ended up marrying. Her name's Ashley, and we decided to take one more trip to Southeast Asia. So um, we were planning to go for three or four months um, and just travel around, and spend a month in the Philippines, and then we took a flight to Ho Chi Minh City and spent probably about six weeks traveling from the south all the way up to Hanoi. And by the time we got to Hanoi, we decided that we really loved it and we, we wanted to stay. And then uh, when we decided it was time to come home, we had saved up a, enough money to come back and buy a food truck. Trying to figure out what to call our truck. Um, so we lived in Hanoi and there's a region uh, two hours away from Hanoi called, there's a little village called Mai Chao. It's a really scenic, pretty uh, hillside village. And we kind of went with a play on words, Mai Chao truck, like Chao food and Mai Chao. So, that's kind of what we went with for that, and then we came back and opened My Chow Food Truck in 2013, and we ran that basically mostly in Columbus for about three years. And then um, some guys that I used to bartend here in Granville, who I used to wait on all, all the time, said, "Hey, have you ever wanted to do anything else with your with your food truck?" And I said, "You know, my my dream would be to open a little Vietnamese restaurant and then um, a brewery." So basically, they said, "Hey, why don't you write up a business plan and and we'll see if we're interested." And I wrote a business plan, and they they were all for it. So. We opened uh, My Chow on Prospect in 2015, and then we leased this adjoining space and opened it in 2000, April 2016. Basically, the name for Three Tigers, um, essentially, it's the third phase of our business. So we have, you know, My Chow Truck was the first phase, um, My Chow on Prospect was the second, Three Tigers is the third, and we wanted, uh, you know, our logo for My Chow was a tiger, and we kind of wanted to align those, the brands. So, you know, it's different than my child, but it's kind of one and the same as well. We have a, a head brewer, Patrick, who's great at what he does. Um, you know, I, I give a little bit of influence on what gets made, but it's really, you know, I, I hired him with full trust, so he's pretty much got free range to make whatever kind of beers he wants. The only limitation, I have complete freedom to make whatever I want to make. Uh, I bounce ideas off of Scott all the time. I bounce ideas off of our kitchen manager all the time, you know, just different people. Um, and I want different influences and ideas from everybody too, because a lot of the beers that I've made here, uh, Scott has come up with an idea and said, hey, do you think you can make this beer? Yeah, I can make that beer. Uh, he does a good job in keeping the tap list, um, you, know, very, you know, with enough variety so that people can find something that they like when they come in. You know, like he came up with the idea of doing the, turkey, the tater trot beer for the turkey trot race. And I was like, okay, what kind of beer do you want to make? And he's like, do you think you can make a sweet potato beer? I'm like, yeah, I can make a sweet potato beer. So, you know, and get ideas from Miles, our kitchen manager. He comes up with flavor ideas and everyone has input. I want input from everybody. But the only limitations I have here is honestly just space, you know, because it's very tiny uh, space. And there's some things that I want to do with like Adventure uh, Three Tigers into the sour beer world and everything else, but with space and not a lot of room for barrel storage and stuff like that that's kind of the limitations we deal with but it's just things we got to do work around with so my favorite beer i've made here um i think it's a toss-up between either old man's nightcap which i have on tap right now um it's an american barley wine um that then we aged for about nine months before we put it on tap uh, to let it pick up like some a little bit of oxygenation to give it like some sherry notes and like it it has like burnt sugar and coffee and caramel no, uh, toffee notes to it and everything else and it just it, barley wines are one of my favorite beer styles in general um, but that's probably one of my favorite ones I made here and then also was uh, cinnamon raisin French toast imperial milk stout um, it, was, it was an imperial milk stout that ended up tasting like cinnamon raisin French toast and I was really happy with it and I'm probably going to brew it again here in a couple months. <laughs>
Uh, my favorite beer is Small Axe uh, Pale Ale. It's an American Pale Ale. It's actually the first beer we made. Um, it's just a nice, kind of hoppy, middle of the road pale ale. Uh, so far, I would say that the Small Axe Pale Ale, it's one of our staples that we have all the time. Um, I'm definitely a pale ale drinker. Um, but the fun thing about here is we have new beers coming out just about every week. So um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot in the pipeline that I like just as well. So we have um, a mug club. This is our second year. Um, first year we had 50 members, and this year we have 150 members. Um, basically, we wanted to create kind of a community. Um, and essentially, we, have, we had um, mugs made by a local potter named Tom Margraff. So we, the, each mug is different. Um, our mug club members pay $100, and they get uh, basically it's a 22-ounce mug. So they get a pour, 22-ounce pour for the price of like a 16-ounce you know, pour. Um, they get an uh, exclusive mug club t-shirt, and then we're, we're in the process of playing like special events for them. We're trying to rent a, a bus and take us around to different Licking County um, breweries just as like a hangout. It's just kind of a, we get together three times a year, and at the end of the year we throw like a pizza party, and then come and have like a little keg party where they drink beer and have pizza and just hang out. Inspiration for the entire menu, even this one, like our, our food truck menu was pretty small because our truck was pretty small. so. Um, the inspiration for all the food that my child's ever done is based on our travels in Southeast Asia. So there's inspiration, obviously inspiration from Vietnam, but there's also you know, inspiration from all over Southeast Asia and Asia in general. Like our, ja our chicken nuggets are called, uh, they're called Japanese haraaji, so it's like a, a marinated um, toss in potatoes, starch, and fried. So it's just a, a Japanese-inspired dish. Um, we have Thai, Korean-inspired dishes, and um, yeah, it's just kind of a wide range of inspiration for it. But it was spent, you know, that's what we did in our free time. We taught about 25 hours a week and we ate street food like the rest of the time. So that's what we were there for. Uh, my favorite food at Three Tigers would probably be our noodle bowls. Um, I like the combination of the pulled pork and the spicy cauliflower. Probably the best option. Uh, oh man, oh man. I'll be honest, I, I'm simplistic when it comes to that, even though I'm a foodie. But my favorite thing here, honestly, is just the Mai Chow hot wings. I love them. I tear them up and make the fat guy happy, so I'm good with that. <laughs> my favorite dish at Mai Chow would probably be the, the pulled pork banh mi, the sriracha pulled pork banh mi. It's the first, the first dish I ever made for the food truck. Um, it's just, in my opinion, it's the perfect sandwich. It's got a little bit of spiciness from the sriracha pork. Uh, it's got a little tanginess from the um, ginger slaw and jalapenos and it's just a good sandwich. It started kind of in an in innocent fashion. We, we made a beer called uh, Cinnamon Raisin French Toast. It was an uh, imperial stout. So we were just messing around one day, one morning, and we just got the idea, let's make a little silly video about this beer. Um, so I was just, we had Miles, our cook, make up some French toast, and I was just sitting there drinking a porter, and he walked by, behind me and just slammed the French toast and the beer, and it spilled everywhere, and then I chugged the beer and ate the French toast. And we put it on, online and like, 4,000 people watched it. So we're like, wow, this is kind of a, a neat way to connect with people. And um, so we have a guy that helps us with our marketing. His name's Rob Cathcart, and that's right down the street. He, um, he comes over and we'll, it's, getting, it's gotten a little bit more elaborate. We spend probably, we don't spend a lot of time planning. It's more of like, it really is just kind of spur of the moment stuff that we do. But uh, he films it and he'll write out, uh, take a bunch of different camera angles. And we just, it's fun to do. We kind of have a thing where we, at, at the end of every video, we'd all sit around and just chug a Three Tigers beer, and it's just been fun. It's silly, and but it's effective for social media. People really enjoy it, and they kind of wait for that kind of stuff to come out. So, honestly, a lot of the stupid videos that we've made are a lot of fun memories. Making some of these dumb videos, making like the resting pumpkin face one, where it was like a mad scientist thing, and just laughing and giggling the whole time, and running around in the street, making the tater trot one when it was cold, so cold. We we're all in shorts and just running around being stupid and having everybody walk and look at us. And then uh, when we did the one video for, um, which one was it? Lemon Hazy Shake, riding around in my Jeep with everybody dressed up like uh, models from Zoolander. And we're all like doing the, the scene where they're driving down, drinking their orange mocha frappa lattes or whatever. And we're drinking out of these crowlers, pointing at people driving down through Granville. People are laughing because they know we're idiots and they know what we're doing. You know, and they're beeping and waving at us, and that was just a lot of fun. You know, it was just a lot of fun. The best thing is here is just having this great connection to community, 
is just having, you know, the best memories are just people that we see over and over coming in because they want to try new beers, they want to try the new food, and, you know, just getting their feedback and their input, and I don't know, it's just the best part. Um, my favorite memory so far would probably be the video that they did for the resting pumpkin phase before I worked here. Um, I was in the transition of, uh, uh, of moving over here and it was before I started my first shift and we met at Rob's house who was uh, one of our social media guys and uh, everybody was in this back shed with um, lab jackets and crazy hair and all kinds of weird stuff and I walked in not knowing what uh, what I was getting myself into so that was a lot of fun to kind of have a trial by fire with those guys so laid back and comfortable um, that's one of the my favorite things about three tigers it's just it's a very family oriented place but at the same time people do come here and have a good time and get a little loud and stuff at times uh, but it's always a place that you can just come and be comfortable I've always brought my family here even before uh, I started working here uh, Scott brings in his family everyone else brings in their families and all in all the culture here not only just for the you know just for our clientele and our customer base but also for us as, as employees and working collaboratively with each other all the time is just it's a very family oriented culture you know, we just wanted some place welcoming and and relaxed and kind of quiet and you can come in and watch a game or have a, have a conversation with your friends. Very laid back. Um, everybody's always here to have a good time. Um, it's not too rowdy in here, which is what I like. I uh, did a lot of years of that, so um, very mellow. Everybody's just drinking good beer and having good conversation.